Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. Hey, we're out at the range today with a new holster by Glenn Jefferson. These are custom made. And uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity while we had Glenn out here to sort of run us through uh, the features of the holster and um, why he chose the design he did. Uh, this is, uh, you know, my new everyday carry holster. Uh, just right out of the right out of the gate, uh, this is the nicest holster I've ever carried. It, uh, it holds the gun perfectly. It uh, has great retention, and um, I'm actually able to wear it more in the classic position because of the way it's designed. So, Glenn, um, when you were when you were building this holster, what were you trying to accomplish? I mean, what was the goal of of the shape, and and the, what are the features of the holster? What I was trying to do was um, when you used to make the holster, there used to be a single strap, and the single strap still made the gun wide. I was trying to make the gun stay thin the whole time in the same line. So I decided to make it a two-strap system and to give you three contacts instead of one contact on your side. A lot of times you get one contact on your side, you get a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. pressing against your body. So here you got three contacts that equalizes the pressure so it, get, it actually feels comfortable. And the way it's designed to sit, it sits back in a pocket between the bone and the hip. Well, the back part of the button. <laughs> that way it lay in the pocket, and then right there when it sets in there, it gets really comfortable. And it's an easy way to draw. It's got a five degree, in between, between a five and seven degree cant. Depends on why the person wants it. Some people want a little more cant, some people want less. And uh, I'll make them any way they want, any style cant, any way they want to do it. Uh, the retention is on the trigger, the front of the trigger. So when you put it in your gun, into the holster, it locks around the front of the trigger. And when you got it on in your belt, that even helps support it a little bit more. It keeps the same retention each time, all the time, when it comes in or comes out. So if you was to take the gun out of the holster and fall on it, being a made of Kydex, you can see it's flexible. You don't have to worry about it busting or cracking on you. Right. But they're not made to live forever so they will eventually crack if you do it enough okay and then, what what adjustment points do we have on this holster i mean what what different ways can you adjust the the cant basically you can uh i, I know you've got different holes in the yeah. straps i do the cant when i do the mold okay so the cant is built into the into the mold mm -hmm. and once i do the cant uh it, there, it comes out as a square and then i sit there and draw a design Oh, okay. And I used, a, if you look at it, it looks like a shovel. Mm -hmm. I found out by using this style, giving you three contact points, the holster uh, really makes it comfortable to carry. And since it's a high ride holster, you can actually put it in on your body, sit in a vehicle, and put the seat belt on to still be able to draw the gun. Yep, I, that's, this is the first holster I've had that I can do that with. A lot of holsters will set too low, seat belt goes on top of it. A lot of times you go try to get your weapon out and you'll grab the seat belt, hanging it on the seat belt, or pulling the gun out one or the other. Mm -hmm. This will clear everything. What are, uh, you've got rivets here, what are, they, are these for rigidity or what are they actually there for? Both, to keep the two pieces together, it's actually two pieces of Kydex, separate okay. it. You take one piece and lay the gun in it and the other part on top of it. We uh -huh. heat it up to about 300 degrees. Okay. You're going to put it in a foam press. Uh -huh. And the press foams the the uh, foam will press the kydex and form around the gun itself. Then after I do that, that's when I do cut the designs on it. And the way I cut out the designs like this, um, I want to keep it close, and I want to keep it even, but I want to keep it as a high ride too. Because guns get down too far into the pants, they are uncomfortable. Because I have tried every kind of way under the sun. I bought. I got boxes full of holsters I tried over the years, yeah. and I never could find anything really comfortable. And uh, I bought some Kydex holsters that people had made and looked at them. Still want quite what I wanted, and so one day I decided, well, I'll give it a shot and see what I can do with it. <laughs> I, I've noticed with other holsters that I've tried to wear back there, I feel them on my hip, on the hip bone itself, where with this, I, the gun is up in the hollow of my back as opposed to down on my hip. Right. It, it also makes a difference in sort of the, the factor of when you're, you know, when you're egg-shaped of losing your pants. This holster rides up higher 
it keeps the gun in the hollow of the back and it keeps it from dragging down on my pants every day while I'm walking around, which is, you know, absolutely what I needed for being able to carry the gun um, at that kind of classic five o'clock position. So if somebody wants to buy one of these holsters, what do they got to do? Just contact me at uh, Rock City Guns. Um, I custom make them to, to mold it to the gun itself. I don't use a mold gun because a lot of time a mold gun is not quite the same specs as most handguns right uh, there. Okay. And uh, I usually just use the customer's guns and because that way it doesn't rattle. One thing I can't stand about a holster is have a gun in it, it rattles. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it doesn't build or uh, the security or the, the your trust in that retention is not as high when that thing's rattling around. Right. So I'll put a link below uh, on how you get a hold of Rock City Guns and give you their information so you know how to do that. Roughly, what do they cost? I know you do these custom, and so that affects it, but... It can run anywhere between 65 and uh, 85. For custom holster folks, he's not charging you enough, so take advantage <laughs> while you can. Um, that's great. Uh, let me strap this thing on. I'll, I'll pull it out for the viewers a couple of times and shoot a few rounds, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Glenn. All right. <laughs> there you go. Always reverse everything you do. One of the other uh, features that I forgot to mention about this holster that I really like is that your uh, magazine release is covered by the Kydex. I've had a couple of these holsters, they didn't cover the magazine release. And so you could be bumping around, moving and hit that thing, you know, wrong in, while you're wearing it and actually eject your magazine. So you go to draw the gun and the magazine's no longer seated. You fire the first round and you've immediately got a jam. So uh, Glenn's got the magazine release covered on this holster, it's great. Um, I've taken and put all my other holsters away. Uh, this has replaced all of them for me. This holster fits my uh, Glock 19, my Glock 23, my Glock 17, everything in that in that frame style. Uh, so it covers almost everything I've got, which is fantastic. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, if you've got uh, the the uh, the cash and you can get a hold of Glenn, get him to make you a holster. If you can't get a hold of Glenn, uh, or you're too far away, you can't work that out. I urge you to seek out people that do custom holsters because it's uh, very different from something you're going to buy off the shelf. And you get the opportunity to get something that's made for your body type, which is a big deal. All right, always remember anyone can shoot. Anyone can shoot and have fun. We'll see you next time. Yeehaw.